Hi guys, this is Sylvia Tabitha's Treasures. Uh, I have a few things to show. It's uh, a few projects and uh, I had to go in for doctor's appointment today. So I was on the north side of San Antonio and decided to stop by at a Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning after my doctor's appointment. Uh, at, uh, Tuesday morning, I found some clearance yarn, and uh, I actually I really like it. I got like three skeins each of the Bernat baby blanket. The colorway is Pebble Path. And it was two forty nine a skein. I got three skeins of that. All that I had left. And I got three skeins of the Burnett blanket, baby blanket, tiny. And the colorway is elephant. And uh, each skein has like 316 yard, yards. So I got like a total of six together. So that should make a nice, snuggly, super soft blanket and then I went to Hobby Lobby I'm working on some scrubbies right now right uh, I'm, I'm uh, blanket out for a while I've been working on so many blankets and bigger projects lately and I forgot to get it I started to work on a on the blanket last week it's a homespun different colorways I'm not going to show it till I'm done with it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit off. I'm not feeling good, and I have a very bad headache. But hubby is sleeping right now, so I said, well, I'll grab that opportunity and make a video real quick. I uh, So I went to Hobby Lobby. I'm working on some, scru uh, on some scrubbies right now. And I, I walked in one time again today because uh, all the yarn, regardless, is 30% off. But I looked for some scrubby yarn, and I got two skeins of the yarn beans, yarn bee scrubby, and the colorway should be holograph, holograph. It's got like the pink sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see it. First, I was gonna get. It's kind of hard to see the pink sparkle. See right here. First, I was going to get regular white, but I still have like one and a half skeins of the regular white left. So I got two skeins of the holograph, and I only had one skein of the grape raisin. That's red heart, sparkly. I got one skein of that. Then I got two skeins of orange, yarn B, Scrubology got two skeins of that it's called orange got two skeins of the yarn bee scrubology scrubology red with the sparkle perfect like for christmas and so i started uh, i made a christmas project already i uh i'm gonna show that in a little while yes red heart scrubby scrubby sparkle and that is uh, oyster so i was looking for black but they didn't have anything black so i got like nine nine skeins of scrubby yarn and uh, then i looked for some buttons and so and i got little candy canes to sew that on on some of my Christmas projects. Little snowmans, I love those, they're too cute. And then some red bows. And I need to see these holes are very, very tiny. But I got the yarn threader. and see if that helps me. So I got that. And I, of course I got all my Christmas belts and other other Christmas buttons and so but not a whole lot and I realized uh, with my um, 
Oh boy, I'm so brain dead today. I'm sorry, guys. I noticed with my tweeting muffs, I made with the bigger belts I attached, and uh, I washed them, dried them, and the water stays inside the belt, so I can use that. I can do the smaller ones, which the holes are not that big. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that, but I have a boatload of uh, small belts and things like that too. And uh, right now, oops, I'm working on a scrubby right now. I put the scrubby and cotton together, and of course here the scrubby yarn is uh, orange, and uh, that is black and orange kind of reminds me of Halloween so I started to work on that I'm starting to make my scrubbies a little bit bigger uh, and then I thought about that us from Germany we have wash mittens it's like a like a glove you know you I probably make that just with a regular cotton you know double the length of the scrubbies or the washcloths and then fold it in half and sew it together on both both sides and then you can stick your hand in and you either can use your scrub brush to reach your back when you shower or take a bath or just stick your hand in and use it like a washcloth but it's like a glove and I remember when I was a kid and we had those all the time I grew up on those and I actually like it better than just a regular washcloth and well then uh, let me show you all the scrubbies I made between yesterday and today well today is I just finished one up this morning I was on the run all day and just like I say not feeling really the very greatest I have no idea right now with the colorways and I used pink, pink cotton and pink. I forgot to look at the colorway and I don't have the banner anymore. And that is actually the same cotton, but I used green with it. Made that one. And that one is uh, one row, one row single crochet and one row double crochet. That one here, I believe I did just regular half double crochet I actually like it the way that turned out and that one here is a scrubby yarn but um, and I wish I would prepare myself but uh, I just did regular double crochet with that and then absolutely love that one but I ran out of yarn and that was some variegated uh, scrubby uh, uh, variegated cotton with yellow lemon and I love it so I made those two four yesterday and the night before and I got them all in the bag and these are the other scrubbies I made before and last week I went to see my boss my former boss and I haven't seen her in a while she gave me some yarn some uh, homespun and uh, some uh, fancy fun like eyelash yarn very cute and uh, and some red heart yarn she used to crochet and knit but she has a lot, lot going on in her life right now too and it's elderly lady so she cannot do it no more no more and she knows that I crochet for charity so she gave all that to me and you know I've been knowing her for 14 years and she's German too and I always I actually used to work for her and I always used to eyeball that trunk it's from Germany these trunks usually come out around Christmas time and they're filled with German gingerbread cookies and stone and stuff like that and I always used to eyeball it and here's my other scrubbies and all that and it's a big tin can and when she she had all her yarn in it and she had me take it out and I asked her am I going to get the the trunk too and she was like no you know I said oh you know and then I stayed over there for maybe an hour or two and 
hugs, kisses, hugs, kisses, and never get out of the door with her, you know, and she went in the back room, and she gave me that trunk. I said, you know, I've been eyeballing that trunk all these years. I absolutely love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have another lady that donates two Tabitha's treasures. And here, I uh, let me put that away. Here I was playing around. I started as a granny square and just doubled. I would like I started as a granny square and then after four rows I doubled the amount of the stitches here. Instead of three, I did six in the corners and so. You know, that's the regular corners. And it's actually it didn't turn out like it should, but it's actually a centerpiece for a table, you know, put your candle on or advance cr crumbs, we call it advance crumbs. And uh, what I'm going to do is there was another reason I either add some belts here, some smaller ones or some of these buttons. But I think actually it turned out pretty nice, but not the way I thought it would be, but I just played maybe the next one you you can use it as a placemat if i would make like four or six of them but i don't think so i mean it's all cotton <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> all righties and today's first day of breast cancer awareness of course you all know i'm breast cancer survivor and i supported a lot a couple of two three weeks ago i bought myself a couple of new breast cancer shirts I'm eyeballing things everywhere. I got my breast cancer glasses at the Dollar Tree. Of course, I got my tattoo and here's a breast cancer bracelet that says hope. Here's another bracelet that says hope. I got my shirt on today and I made a purse and I probably keep that purse for myself. And it's red heart. Uh, I think it's a purple variety and I doubled the yarn actually uh and then uh the handle too sewed it together with regular pink double the yarn sewed it together and i've got my little letters with hearts that says hope faith got a heart there and cure and then i made the pink ribbon it's pretty decent size and i, I like it so much i'm thinking about keeping it myself so I made that. I want to do a little bit more on breast cancer, but by the time we donate, I'm trying to donate before Thanksgiving. So we need to get busy. And uh, and then I made a shawl. That's a uh, brunette pop. And uh, I think it's called uh, Vibrant Violet make that shawl it's almost two skeins let's select the chain three and chain three and crochet one it's got all the pink lilac purple you know uh, shades I made that and then I made a blanket out of uh, Karen simply soft some of it was scrap yarn and uh, the sender has got baby blue Karen Simply Soft I believe that one didn't have the band but I believe it's a uh, light sage and then country blue and dark sage and it's pretty decent size I think it's like four feet and uh, it's perfect for a gentleman at the nursing home and the way it looks like we don't have a whole lot of projects this year dana has been out for so long and now she's not feeling good again and joe is being busy so the way it looks like we only donate to one nursing home which would be normandy terrace i think i only got like counting uh lap cans uh, 26 or 27 blankets and napkins. It's not a whole lot. Normandy Terrace has 149 residents, not counting people we have and all that. 
So, you know, and it's okay, we will get it. And here, I used the uh, uh, Karen Simply Soft, the country blue, and I used the eyelash yarn, the, the fancy fun, and it's, I like the top of it, it's so cute. So I started, you know, my magic circle with that, and then a crochet, um, single crochet, I think four or five rows, and I did a couple of rows again with the eyelash yarn, and then single crochet again, one row, and I think it's pretty cute. I, uh, let me see, I never tried to put it on, let me get my glasses off and see what it looks like. I think it's very, very cute. Let me see what I look like. <laughs> uh -oh. oh yeah, I like it. It's a little slouchy, so I made that. And a matching scarf to it. It's got the eyelash yarn on the bottom. Let me see if I got the right side. Yes, ma'am. Got the eyelash yarn, the same pattern, you know, like with a hat. And the same on the other side. It's like three or four feet long. So I made that. I think that's super cute. I like the eyelash yarn. I looked at Hobby Lobby today for eyelash yarn. Seven dollars is gain. Really? And actually, I believe I showed that one last time already, didn't I? That's a pattern I created, I dreamed of. I think I already showed that yet last time. I'm not sure. So how come it's over in my other corner? I know for sure I already showed that. So. And then I made a, it's actually going to be a birthday present for a girl. She's going to be 12 or 13 on Friday. I made a messy bun beanie out of um, Premier, Premier every day. So that's half double crochet and the brim I did a single crochet and then small little short stitch. I showed it to her mom. She said that's so cute and her daughter's gonna love it. She likes blue. So it's just a little something. I don't even know her, so just a little something. And here, where's the hat to it? That scrap yarn, I made a cowl. Half double crochet. Actually, I can put it on. And they used like brown buttons to it. And then I made a hat out of scrap yarn, single crochet, and uh, the puff stitch that actually can be used as a as a set. Let me see. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, it's going to be a lot softer once you wash it. Brian's aid provider has. Uh, she told me she got some mannequins. She went to school for cosmo cosmetology, and she said the hair is attached to the mannequins. She saw my video last time, you know, with Paula, and me worrying about the hat, the hair coming off. <laughs> and she said she would give that to me. She's a CNA now. No more cosmetology glasses. Oh, I cannot even find my stuff. Here's another beanie, just a regular half half double crochet out of Karen Simply Soft, um, Light Sage, love it. And then here, that's the last of my projects. Oh wow, let me see something with it, I do. See, I didn't have my glasses on and I told you stories. That is not the puff stitch. That is, uh, I think, uh, just regular travel crochet with single crochet. Sorry, guys. Told you I'm not up to speed. And here I made a, a scarf of the purple shades. Not too long. I um, wonder maybe that's a regular double crochet. I wonder if I should maybe just sew it together and make a cowl out of it. 
and that is the Z stage. Yes. I don't know if I should sew it together, make a cowl out of it, or I'm not sure yet. I will see. And then here is my puff stitch. Regular beanie, single crochet, and the brim, the border is puff stitch. And then uh, and uh, the last round, I started to run out of yarn. I uh, just did uh, a slip stitch around. It's kind of loose, but you know, not everybody has a small head like me. You know? I think I have a bigger head. Not to mention that I'm big headed, and I'm not big headed, I'm hard headed. You know? So that is that. And. Uh, Last week or the week before when it was, when I went to Dana's to get my project back from uh, Heaven's Peacemaker, look her up, she has her YouTube channel, she's doing amazingly work, amazing work. And uh, my boss thought she wanted, that, wanted to see that project back, she absolutely loved it. But anyways, I took some of Dana's projects home to uh, weave in the tails and some of the headbands had to be sewn up and uh, uh, probably next week I'm going to wash all these goodies here and so it's ready for delivery so let me see I got one blanket Joe made it's a pretty decent size I didn't measure it and that one is uh, red heart red and then I know it's a navy blue and royal blue double crochet. Pretty decent size. I like it. So, you know, Joe crochets too, but right now he's so busy too and, you know, trying to get something done. I mean, really, it's, but I know how it goes. But I crochet, it's, eases my mind with everything that's going on and coming up and yaddy 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 so I'll just keep on crocheting and then Dana made that cowl here I do know the yarn it's uh, called uh, Premiere Every Day and the colorway is sorry I'm all itchy the colorway is um, not the lights I should have known that you know, so it's very, it's pretty decent. I like it. I like it. She did a shell, shell stitch, I believe, but I'm sure there's a different name out there for it, for the pattern. I need to try to do that one day. I always say that, but it's just, I have to convince myself. I'm afraid of reading patterns because I'm never gonna get anything done. And then she made that shawl, and I know that's mandala ombre. And uh, I don't know the colorway. I need to look. I think I have the same. That was actually donated to us from a very dear friend, Terry Dahl. I uh, I don't think I have done anything yet with the yarn donation. Right now, I'm just making scrubbies. Take a break from all the big stuff. And what I want to do is. Um, get our projects ready for the church what we're going to do is we're going to put the sets headbands hat and scarf together and put a ribbon around it so it's one gift I believe at the church you know when when we donate that everybody is allowed to grab three pieces two or three pieces I'm not sure then I told me last year or beginning this year and uh, I don't remember. Here, little headbands. And that's premiere. That's uh, premiere uh, every day. And I didn't know the colorway. Oh, it's um, moss, I think. Something moss. Moss oak, something like that. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know because I didn't make it. And then she got a, made a hat out of that one too, which I absolutely like. She, I think she crocheted together that she started that way here first and you know I mean attached that and started with a magic circle first 
and then she got that hat here I love the colorways I believe I had some like that too or similar and it looks like all double crochet I love the colorways absolutely gorgeous and then she got a matching headband to that love it oh, maybe for a little kid or so all right peeps I guess that just about sums it up sorry my mind is not all there but I thought about it earlier to make a video and I was like nah headache and not feeling good and yuck you know but I will like let me get that out of the way so I can put everything over there because my cabinet over there was packed alrighty then you all have a blessed evening keep on hooking and we will chat soon later guys love you Bye.